caution hot. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, no. <laughs> All right, let's go. Welcome to Jashelle Tech TV. In this video, I'm going to be talking about and showcasing my software development resumes that I used during job searches that led to interviews. Also, make sure to check out my most recent videos, day in the life of a developer, and skills I've gained as a developer. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in this kind of content because I have a lot of stuff coming up. Before I begin this video, I'd like to answer some questions from viewers. I've already answered these questions in the comments, but I thought it'd be cool to switch things up a bit and answer them in this video as well. The first question is from Micah Jank. Love it. One important question I need to know the answer to is, does your work have a meme Slack channel? Yes, we do have a meme Slack channel. I post memes pretty much every day because that's just what developers do. The next question is from Average Intelligence. I got accepted into Lambda. I've heard some really bad things about the program lately, and I wanted to know your thoughts and opinions on that end of things, if you don't mind. My opinion on this is that I attended Lambda school from March, no, from April 2019 to February 2020. It was a while ago, so I'm not at all sure how the program is now. For me, it did what it needed to do and gave me what I needed to become a developer, but I'd recommend checking with a current student who'd likely have way more insight than me. The next question is from R. Winzok. It says, please, can you make a more detailed video of what an email developer does? For example, what framework you use or a templates and design tool like Adobe or Figma you use? Yes, I can definitely do that very soon, actually. Last question is from 1013 KitKat. What a pro. Thank you. Do you have any specific area you wanna grow in in the future? So regarding that for now, I think I just enjoy learning as much as I can. I can't think of a specific area I'd wanna grow in right now. I'm just taking it one day at a time for now. That's it for questions, now on to the main topic. So this was my first resume that I used in my initial job search when I was looking for my first role in late 2019. It was pretty basic and I created it in Microsoft Word. It started with, of course, my name, title of the role I was interested in, location, and important links, LinkedIn, GitHub, portfolio, and email. And then I wanted to do my best to create a summary that truly represented me as much as possible. So I had motivated software engineer who brings a creative and solution-driven mindset to every team and project, passionate about writing clean code that is reusable and follows the dry pen principle, designs interfaces that incorporate accessibility and user-friendliness, approaches all new projects with the priorities of simplicity and functionality. Next, I listed my technical skills, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, ES6, React.js, including state management, Node.js, Express.js, SQL, and Git. My personal projects are listed right below my skills. Since I had no prior professional professional experience at the time, I wanted to make sure that my software projects really stood out. I also made sure that my projects reflected the technical skills listed above as a proof of concept. I listed what I'd built recently and what I thought were my best projects at the time. This included one back-end project I'd built an API and two front-end projects. Both were built with React and then one built with React that implemented a third-party API. I made sure to also have links to these projects so that the employer could check them out. Next, I listed my education. At the time, I was still attending Lambda School and I also listed other education. Last but not least, my work experience. Fortunately, most of my past experience was already in tech, so I listed only relevant roles and made sure to relay transferable skills as much as possible. For instance, when I worked in technical support for a software company, I was able to leverage troubleshooting customers' websites. Not much longer after submitting applications, I received my first interview request. 
It was for my previous dev role in higher education. The job qualifications were hands-on development work with at least one programming language, understanding of relational database fundamentals, understanding of web services, understanding of operating systems, knowledge of HTML, JavaScript, XML, and JSON, working knowledge of one web dev tool, working knowledge of at least one integrated development environment. So I'd make sure to cater my resume to highlight re relevant skills to this role. The next resume is a bit different. I went with an online resume builder that I found while doing some research and I thought it was pretty cool and more professional so I went with it. Pretty much it starts the same, my name, title of the role I'm interested in. Although the role I was applying for was email developer, I picked a title that was as close as possible since I had no prior experience with email development. The summary for this one is a bit different since I'd gained experience, I made sure to highlight that here. So driven web developer with experience working on multiple enterprise level development projects in the higher education industry, passionate about building responsive, user-friendly and accessible products, proven record of exceptional teamwork, communication and leadership. Next, I had a section for contact information, and I made sure to have important links again here, um, such as my portfolio and LinkedIn. The format and structure are slightly different as well. It's a two column resume. And with this resume, again, since I'd gained experience, I put that very first. In the job summary, I first pointed out the contributions that I made. Then after that, I listed my day-to-day -day responsibilities. And then I listed other recent relevant experience, which was the team lead internship I did while attending Lambda School. And then on the right, I listed my skills, technical and soft skills. And I really love how this is designed. It makes the skills really stand out a lot. I made sure to list skills that were as relevant to the role as possible, such as responsive design, accessibility, HTML, CSS, preprocessors, um, libraries, things like that. And um, also for soft, soft skills, of course, you wanna have problem, things like problem solving, communication, collaboration, you know, things like that. And then again, I listed my education and personal projects that were as relevant to the role as possible. Mainly projects that utilize the technologies listed in the job description, which again is proof of concept. And then not long after I was invited to do a code test and interview. And the job description for this one was a functional knowledge of HTML, CSS, prior knowledge of email development is a plus, ability to plan sophisticated pranks, <laughs> solid written and verbal communication skills, self-directed and motivated to succeed, ability to work with a team, ability to physically lift a team of peers, learn new email focused technologies with the guidance from other developers, high level understanding of email clients and a high drive to deliver quality work. And I received an offer shortly after the code test and interview. So that's it for my software development resumes. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.